Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review. So in this case, I'm going to be reviewing an app called Vibrance HDR. Uh, what the app does is that it allows you to manually create um, HDR images by taking pictures at multiple exposure levels and then combining the images into one. So the idea here is to sort of automate that um, process of taking pictures at multiple exposures and then having to manu manually do it in apps, for example, like um, Photoshop or other photo editing apps. So the first thing you're going to need to do is install an app or a camera app that allows you to take pictures at multiple exposures and save them individually. So in this case, I'm going to be using camera FV5. I did buy the pro version, but you should be able to do it on the light or free version as well. I didn't test it on that and I, or I may have a long time ago, but I don't remember offhand. Um, other apps like open camera and, um, from the, uh, website, I think they said a better, better camera also allows you to do that. So there are a few apps that do that, but it's not, the only requirement is that you are able or that you do take um, or use a camera app that allows you to save the picture at multiple exposure levels. So um, use so if you do use camera FE5, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go or in any camera app is you're gonna go into the settings that allows you to take or set your exposure settings. So in the case of camera FE5, you're gonna click on this um, button at the top. You're gonna um, bracketing or BRK, and then you're going to set your the number of frames that you want to take a picture of. You can start at one frame and go up to. Um, seven so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set it at zero for now so i can show you but you can do set it up one frame and you can set um if you want to take you know all these different levels you can do that um but as you increase the number of frames you can only take a certain number of um, exposure settings at that so the maximum at three frames is two um and then when you jump up to uh, five frames the most number of um, exposure levels you can set is one um, and then it also goes in the reverse direction at uh, negative one as well. Um, and then the highest for my camera setting or my camera on my one plus three T is seven frames. And so the max number of ex max exposure I can set it at is 0.7. So once you decide how many frames you want to take a picture of and how wide of an exposure level you want, then you're going to focus and take the picture. So um, because it takes a little bit of time to actually take the pictures, um, I will sh I'm will. i going to show the pictures and jump right into Vibrance HDR. I did already take a set of three pictures so I can show you how to combine them. So in this case, because I, in this case, I want to use as wide of an exposure as possible. So I'll set it as three frames and then I'll bump it up all the way up to two. And then you're going to basically take your pictures. So um, touching the camera button once will focus it. You'll see that it turns green. And then you'll take the three pictures at the different at the three different exposure levels. Um, once it does that, you're going to jump out of that camera app and jump into Vibrance HDR. You're going to touch open pictures and you're going to select the three pictures that you want to combine. Um, so depending on how um, big of a file your uh, your camera takes pictures at is going to uh, determine how long it takes to load. So I took these three pictures earlier. I took it in landscape, so it's a wider angle. I did only do three um, images. And then the app itself will combine the images, process it, and give you the final result. Um, if you want to see a comparison between what outputs, you can touch the AB button. You'll see that it's a little bit darker in one, brighter in the other. Um, you can touch the overflow menu and you can um, hit info so you can see um, where it's going to save, the size of the picture, the megapixels and all that. You can jump into tech settings and you can also set the image format so you can set it as P or PNG or JPEG um, from 1% quality all the way up to 100%. Um, you can include the EXIF tags if you want. You can get more information. You can show the histogram. Um, if you want to see the control sliders, you can do that. And then if you find you want to do other settings, the app also allows you to set the brightness, contrast, saturation, and white balance. And then you can set other uh, detail information as well, as well as the tone mapping for the HDR. Um, but once you're once you're done with that, all you do is hit save and it'll save your image. So and that'll show up directly in your gallery. So you can jump. So once it's done, um, you'll be able to jump into that. The app is free. Um, so you it will get you will get ads, but it does cost, um, I believe, three ninety nine to jump to ad free. Um, so 
if you like the app and it works as you want, you can support the developer that way. So now jumping out of the app and going into uh, Vibrance HDR or into the picture that you just saved, um, you'll see that here's my HDR image. You can jump into the details of it. You can see it's a 36 megabyte file at 4640 by 3480. Um, it's saved in the Vibrance HDR folder, so you can separate that. And then you can always... Um, so I'm going to um, delete this extraneous image that I have that doesn't really have anything for comparison. Uh, delete that one and that one. So those are the three that we just took. So um, to review, this is the final outputted um, image so you can zoom all the way in. You can see um, all the detail that it picked up. Um, you can see that it... Um, a little bit of shading comparison so you can see the stuff that's the tree branches and, and leaves and stuff that's in the light versus what's not in the light and then we even have the sunlight up here at the top right so you get a lot of that detail and some of that reflection and then when you jump over into this is the, i believe the um i want to say this is the high exposure so whatever is at plus two this is probably at the minus two, so you see it's a little bit darker. And then you have the normal image that's just at zero, so it combined those three images. So overall, a pretty good app. It's pretty nifty. Um, I'm still playing around with it. I want to take pictures at uh, multiple exposures as well, as, or um, a wide or a sm narrower range of exposures, but more frames to see how it compares. But in general, because there's a wider range of exposures, the compare the um compression and, and compression or combining the three images into one is actually pretty good but let's say you're in a situation where you just you want that little extra detail but more frames just to get a expand the um what your camera is taking a picture of then you can do that as well so that's vibrance hdr is available for android available for free in the google play store um, and then if you want to go ad free, then it is three ninety nine. And then uh, for me, I recommend Camera Fe five is pretty stable. Open Camera is pretty good as well. I use it on and off, um, but it, um, if memory serves, I did, only didn't like it because it has a lot of controls and um, I think I didn't like the picture quality that it took or something along those lines. Um, but I might have to give it another try because it has been uh, some time. But that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or anything like that, this video is on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. You can also find me on Twitter at um, PatelN01 as well. And if you want to um, get this review in your podcast client of choice or get this video early, you can help support the show by visiting Patreon at patreon.com slash Patel N01. And of course, all the links and um, related information can be found on the website at pateln01.com. But th that's all there is for this review. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time.